Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, bring you guys another video. Guys, in today's video, we're going to be giving you guys the best tips to try to make it as far and as long as you can in the new solo showdown limited time mode. Guys, again, this solo showdown mode, it's, it's really important because this is the first sign of a ranked play that we actually have in Fortnite Battle Royale. So basically what they're doing is they're taking people and they're ranking them within their top 50 games. Not even top 50. Their first 50 games playing the solo showdown is how they're going to get ranked. And guys, there's awards to this game mode as well. So if you don't know about it, I'm going to break basically break it down to you real quick at the start of this video and then we're going to give you guys the best tips and tricks in winning it. So basically the awards is first place you get 50 thousand v bucks i can't stress it enough how many v bucks that is but you'll be covered for all the season four man if you won first place you get fifty thousand v bucks man you don't have to worry about a thing ever again second through fourth place so basically second third and fourth place you're getting twenty five thousand v bucks still a lot of v bucks even for placing second to fourth fifth to fiftieth which is a huge gap five six seven eight nine ten all the way to fiftieth place you get thirteen thousand five hundred v bucks keep in mind it's not as much as fifty thousand but thirteen thousand five hundred free v bucks you're going to be able to get at least three to four skins with that much v bucks you guys so again keep in mind i want a lot of you guys to out there try your best that you possibly can to make sure that you actually make it into the top 100 because 51st to 100th place which is like 50 something places 7,500 v bucks you guys which is a lot i think that's like 60 dollars worth of v bucks so you're just going to basically be getting 60 dollars of v bucks in the game which is insane man 51st to 100 that's a lot of people you guys so a lot of people have a chance of actually playing placing top 100 now keep in mind there's millions of people that play this game but not the millions of people play solo showdown there's only going to be a few people playing it and it is an ltm which means limited time mode only so it's going to only be here for a few days i think on monday is when it's going to stop so there's only going to be a few people that can get it so my best tip my first tip that i want to give you guys playing this is make sure you actually get your 50 games in before the game mode ends make sure you at least play your 50 games because we're going to talk about how you actually place up in the higher rankings so now comes the question of how do you actually get ranked how does the whole ranking system work so basically guys out of the whole hundred people that land at the map whatever place you get like whatever placement you get if you make it to like top 34 and you die at 34th you get 34th place you're going to get points so it's all based off a point system you guys so basically on screen right now is how the point system is going to work as you guys can see first place you're going to get 100 points so if you get first place you're getting a full 100 points and that's the best that you can do possibly do so of course everyone wants to get first place and i know i know a lot of people watching this video are going to be like yo these tips are kind of annoying because you're telling people to camp but if you already watched the video or you actually played the games, guys, all people are doing is camping. It's literally people just trying to camp to make it to the top 10 so they can get as many points as they possibly can. And then in the top 10 situation is when they're going to end up getting in fights and stuff like that. So again, guys, keep in mind, the kills don't matter. I know I know, a lot of people were like, yo, but it's boring like that. And it's true, but this is ranked play. This is the competitive and this is the rules to the game mode. So if, if you're playing Call of Duty and you're playing Hardpoint, you're not playing Hardpoint to get as many kills as you possibly can. You're playing Hardpoint to play the objective you're playing games to play the objective when it comes to competitiveness you're playing to play the objective there's no tdm in any competitive call of duty it's all either hard point capture the flag there's objections to it so this game mode our objective is to place first place it doesn't matter how many kills you get so it doesn't matter you guys do not want to go to tilted towers or anything like that you want to just try to make it farther in the game so as you guys can see if you make it to the top 100 you're going to at least get 25 points if you make 76 to 100 you get 25 points but the top 10 is where you want to be because you're getting 100 points 94 points for second 91 points for third and if you're getting say you get like fourth place every game over and over again 50 games in a row fourth place that's already 4,400 points that you're gonna have and that's probably basically placing top 10 you guys so you don't even have to win a game in order to place top 10 that's how easy it is and that's why I want to tell you guys this right now don't stress it enough all you have to do is basically just try to make it to the top 10. I know a lot of people are going to be mad at this. They're going to be like, why are you telling people to camp? But guys, look at this. If there's already people camping in the game, my channel, my videos are based on helping other people succeed. So if other people want to try to get free V-Bucks, I'm going to do the best I can to help them. So again, the best tip I have is to try to camp it out to the very end. Again, a lot of people that do suck, if they do suck and you die by somebody camping, 
don't be mad at them for camping. I mean, they camped it out just like you probably did, but you lost the gunfight. It's okay. It happens. Um, it really, at the very end, it comes down to skill. So the top like five people, 10 people, it's really going to come down to skill. If you're not the best in the game, it's going to suck because you're probably going to die, but you still made it very high in the game. You still got top 10, which means you're going to get a lot of points for that game. But with all that being said, let's start to cover how to actually get some victory rails or how to make it to the far end of the game. So basically, starting off is landing. Where do you want to land? A lot of people do not land Tilted Towers, do not land Retail Row or anything like that. Now, some cities like Greasy Grove or Pleasant Park, they could be not as populated because a lot of people are going to have that mindset of to land outside of the map. Literally, in this game mode, it's going to be hard to land because anywhere you land, there's going to be people going there because a lot of people are going to have the mindset of, oh, hey, let me not go to a big city. Let me go a little bit outside of the map and try to just avoid people as much as possible. Now, those people, so of course, with that being said and people having that mindset in this new game mode of camping, a lot of people are going to be landing everywhere on the map, you guys. So my suggestion is really find a place that you're good at, stick to that place, and just constantly go there. You guys can always go into a normal solo game, practice a little bit, and then once you're ready and you have that, that spot where where you land at down and packed ready to go all you got to do is go into the solo showdown and do exactly what you do you guys now the next step is of course winning the city or wherever you land if there's people there all you got to do is win it once you win that city and stuff like that you're basically good to go you can basically camp it out for the rest of the game the beginning and the end are going to be the most stressful parts in the game because the middle uh, everyone's going to be camping you're basically going to be camping everyone's going to be camping and if people see each other they see each other and shoot each other if you get rushed by somebody yeah you're going to have to get in a gunfight and actually kill them but the beginning and the end are going to be the stressful parts where hey you don't want to die because people are landing at the same city as you people are landing at the same spot as you so you want to try to beat that city or take over that city once you win that city you're good to go so we're going to cover what you want to have in your inventory your loadout so a lot of people think hey let me rock a double pump or a two shotguns or something like that but no you guys you're gonna want to have two shields basically you're gonna want to have an AR either a burst an assault rifle anything like that a scar whatever you can find you pick up you're gonna want to have a shotgun either whether it's the tactical shotgun the pump shotgun or the heavy shotgun whatever you prefer the best you're gonna have that as your shotgun slot and then you're gonna want to have two shields you're gonna either want to have med kit or bandages or shield pots or slurp juice or anything like that anytime you find shields or anything within your city that you take over you're gonna want to hold two of those now the reason we're saying two of those is because you're going to be camping a lot so if the storm happens like you're in the storm or something you need to heal up you're going to have those bandages just in case and again it's it's very important to have this i know before i always preach to have two shotguns so that we can do that but when it comes to this game mode it's all about trying to camp it out and play it smart you're going to want to play this a lot smarter than rather than running and gunning people down so you're going to want to have two med kits you're going to want to have either a sniper or an rpg now keep in mind snipers and rpgs or grenade launchers are huge in this game so this is something that you really want to have the reason snipers are good is because everyone's camping you can if you see somebody and they're just sitting there camping it's an easy free snipe so you can go ahead and snipe them and get them out the way now grenade launchers are really good too and rockets rpgs because one it's very easy all you got to do is shoot it in the direction that they're at you can try and get the kill that way and it makes it very easy now i suggest if you're not that good with a shotgun don't use a sniper rifle. I'd rather use like an RPG or something like that to have just in case if someone's rushing you so you can get high ground and shoot them with an RPG if you're not that good with a shotgun. Now keep in mind, these are just tips for people that just aren't that good at the game, you guys. If you're really good at this game, you already know all these tips and tricks and stuff like that. If you guys have been watching the gameplay in the background, you've noticed that this is part of the uh, solo showdown game mode. I've been playing it. I have three games played so far. I won all three of my games, so I got first place in all three games. I don't think that's going to be like that for the whole entire thing there's no way i'm gonna go 50 games without losing but i'm gonna try my best to make it as far as i can if you're watching in the background playing you're gonna see that i'm avoiding gunfights if you saw the yesterday's video i avoided a gunfight because I'd, I'd rather not go in there and try to kill those two people let them fight it out and then push in if anything but if i don't have to get in the gunfight don't get in it that's the main thing that i want you guys to keep that in mind if you don't need to get in the gunfight don't do it. There's no point in you rushing somebody and just dying or losing health and all that stuff when you could just camp and wait it out. Again, I know a lot of the haters are going to come out during this video and be like, yo, why are you telling people to camp? You're such a noob. Stop telling people to camp. But guys, you don't understand. The objective of the game mode is to make it as long as you possibly can. If people aren't that good at the game, the best thing they can do is to camp. If they're trying to get aggressive, if they're trying to get better at the game, 
playing solo showdown is definitely not the place to do it at you guys you want to play solo games on your own and practice there get aggressive over there and work on your game style over there now when you come down to the solo showdown even the pros even when ninja had his professional event going on in las vegas he was landing where no one else was landing he was camping because he was playing it smart when he comes down to a competitive level this game is very slow paced because you're not really running around gunning bad people like not everyone in the lobby is just a, a a mobile person where you can just easily kill them there's good people in the lobby so you got to be careful who you push and stuff like that because if you do push somebody and it's a good fight and you end up winning it but it was a good fight and you lost a lot of mats and you lost a lot of health there's going to be another good person that's going to push up right after that so instead of just getting yourself in a situation like that avoid it camp it out wait it out until the very end again i think the way they should do this whole ranked play system is if you get a win you get 100 points you get first place you get 100 points the whole point system is good but they need to add every kill you get you get 10 points so that way a lot of the people that are out here dropping 14 kills but losing they can actually get 140 points just for that for getting that 40, 14 kills you know that's my opinion again this is only a trial they're just testing the waters with this game mode so this is the first time they're doing it so they're literally doing this just to see how people how the feedback is on it you guys but basically you're gonna want to play the edges of the circle nobody's ever in the middle of the circle because if you're in the middle of the circle you're gonna be having people from all around you surrounding you shooting at you so you'd rather play the edges of the circle basically you want to hang out where the storm is as long as you possibly can now the reason you're doing this is because you're avoiding as much people as possible and you're gonna see a lot of people building one by one bases sitting in their base in the circle and then waiting till the storm starts moving to move now you can do that as well for yourself but keep in mind that once you do start moving people are gonna notice you and they're gonna try to kill you the tips that I have for you to, in today's video in order to win the LTM you guys want to camp it out play it very slow don't rush anything that you need to rush play the game mode very slow you guys make sure that you have the loadout that I told you the AR shotgun two things of heals and a sniper or RPG or grenade launcher. That's the loadout that you want to have. You want to make sure you have materials so that way whenever you get into a gunfight, you're ready to go. But guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that the main tip was to camp it out and play it slow. And a lot of people are noticing that people are already doing that. Without this video even being made, that's what a lot of people are doing. And that's what you need to do to win, you guys. Again, like I said, please give this video a thumbs up because you don't even need to get a victory royale to, in order to get top 10, you guys. All you have to do is place top 5 at least 50 games in a row and then you can automatically get placed in the top 10 situation which is insane man you can get free v bucks without even winning a single victory royale game which is insane to think about definitely awesome for them to help out the community like that but guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you please can give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video peace